Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be reviewing this pen. This is the Parker Jota Fountain Pen. Now, um, I'll point out some features, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, then I'll do a writing sample. Now, um, this pen is all silver. It has no colours or anything over it. Now, if we go in here, you can, if we, it says Parker, then on the other side it says L France. Now, um, if I, uh, under the clip, there's a hole there, under the clip as normal, uh, and the clip is quite, you know, the normal arrow for, a uh, Parker Pen. Now, I want to point out that it is very light. Now, um, I would actually go in to say, it's light, this becomes against it at some point, because you want a light pen, you don't want always a heavy pen, but this pen becomes so light that it feels cheap, which it is. Parker Jotter is a very cheap pen. So, if we open it up, I have to remember, it's not a twist thumb, because that would open the barrel, it's a clip one. Now, this pen is quite, you know, dignified at the start, it's quite sleek, but you'll be able to see here on the nib how it's a bit plain, just as Parker. Now, I'm not a Parker expert because I only own two Parker pens, this and another one I got like 20 years ago and have lost. Well, actually, I haven't lost it, but it's, you know, I haven't used it in like ages, so I consider it as lost. Um, it says, you can't see it because the camera won't focus, even though it's a pretty good focusing camera. Uh, M in there, which for medium, so this is a medium nib. I didn't actually have any choice when I bought this pen. Now, I'm assuming you can choose on the store. I bought it online, this pen. And, um, yes, I had really no real choice over what cult, not uh, what nib I had. It just came and I was a bit... I, I had a look and I'm like, hey, shouldn't I be able to choose, you know, fine, medium, whatever nib? And they, well, they didn't say no. They just had no option. But anyway, going on. The section is actually quite large, which is relatively good. Now, if I open the barrel up, I should actually also say that the section is plastic. It's the only plastic um, bit of the pen except for the feed and probably inside the feed more inside, if you know what I'm talking about. Now, this, com uh, this cartridge, I haven't got a converter, which I should get, but I don't have many Parker pens. This is the only Parker pen that actually can use a converter, but, and I'm not going to get it because it's n just a waste of money to buy a converter, but, I mean, it is. if I'm going to use this pen a lot, which I'm not, you should get a... Con um, if you, sorry, I should say, if you're going to get this pen, uh, you should get a converter as you... You should buy bottled ink as that is the most um, economical... Um, economical way to buy ink. So, if we put the uh, barrel back on, and I'll show you how it writes. Now, from looks wise, I actually like it. It's very sleek. The nib's a bit plain, and the uh, the section's a bit plasticky because you can feel that plastic. Um, so, if we just write the, uh, we'll just write Parker Jotter first. Uh, so, just moving around my chair. Parker Jota. And this uh, pen makes no noise whatsoever on this paper. Um, it's very, uh, it's very silent, which is good because it's not a scratchy pen. Uh, Parker Jota fountain pen, because you can get it in a ballpoint pen, I believe. Fountain pen. All right. Parker Jotter, I'm not sure if that focusing is the best it can be. Anyway, Parker Jotter fountain pen. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Brown fox. What are doing? Jumps over the lazy duck. The the lazy dog it is skipping a bit, which is not good. Definitely not good. Skipping is one of the worst things that a pound fountain pen can do. Lazy dog. Now, uh, not normal skipping from a pen is 
due to the ink. If you just changed an ink, you know, you're trying to get um, the ink uh, in that it uh, makes a very loud noise, as most pens do, and, you know, other instruments do make a loud noise. But anyway, um, this... Um, they, yes, they make a loud noise. But anyway, back to the, this pen in particular. It's relatively nice to write with. I find that this is a bit flexible, as you can see. Now, I've seen this nib do things that I've seen a 14 karat gold nib do. This is definitely not a flex nib. Uh, but let's do some, like, twirls. And you can, ju you can see for yourself. Now, you can see it's not, so if I, see the, if I just draw that line then I go there, it's a bit thicker, but not that widely thicker, I would say. It's, I've seen 14 karat gold nibs do that, but I mean it's not that extravagant. I've just uh, seen that it is a bit flexible. Now, um, other people give this pen a very high rating for its, uh, it, for its uh, price. But, and I would agree that it's relatively good for its price, but it's I can find that if you get other pens for a bit cheaper, that it can be better. So, uh, let's do some hashtag or number signs, and that will really bring out the, um, that will really bring out the flexibility of this nib. Uh, eh, not very flexible, but I mean it's not the worst. So, uh, it also skips, which I've said, but it's just a bit too skipping that I don't like, which gets really annoys me because then you have to, you know, I'm on pen, you know, try to encourage the pen to um, write. Um, but in the writing, it's relatively good. Well, I'll bring it up to you close, and this pa and this paper is new paper. I've got this new paper, and I'll probably I'll do a review right after this review, right up after I upload it. But um. It's relatively not. Oh uh, yeah, so it's if you could see there, it's not. It's not a a flutter um, feathering, not fluttering feathering that much. Now, while I was doing that, I just remembered, I actually do have three, four Parker pens. This one, another one that I got ages ago, and I, I did another review on uh, a, uh, a star, uh, I can't remember, a pacer and a ballpoint pen, but I never use them. I might use this a bit more often because it's a fountain pen, which is my preferred pen of choice. So, um, this pen is relatively good for the price. Um, I would give it a... It's hard to tell what I would give it because it has so many... It has, it has nice... Sorry, that's just my, uh, phone ringing. I'm sure I can turn that off. But, anyway, I would give this at a... I would give this a, uh, probably a 7.5 out of 10. Alright, thank you, and I'll see you later. Bye.